the world's most mass-produced and best floating tank. Developed in 1949-1950 by the All-Russian Research Institute of Transport Machine Building together with the Chelyabinsk locomotive plant. It was adopted for service with the Soviet Army by decree of the USSR CM No. 3686-1447 of August 6, 1951. Serial production was carried out at Seversky Tube Works, since 1961, VGTZ, from 1951 to 1967. Serial modifications, PT-76, Object 740, displacement welded hull of box section with a pointed nose providing minimum resistance afloat. The turret is welded, conical in shape. Hydrojet water jet propulsion. Combat weight, 14 tons. Dimensions, 7,625 by 3,180 by 2,195 mm, armament, 76 mm gun D-56T with slotted muzzle brake of reactive type, since 1957, D-56TM with two-chamber active muzzle brake and ejection device for blowing out the barrel channel, and twin machine gun SGMT, ammunition, 40 rounds and 1,000 rounds. V-6 engine. Radio 10, RT-26E, from 1957, R-113, and TPU-47, from 1957, R-120. Serial production from 1951 to 1962. PT-76B, Object 740B, the hull height was increased by 130 mm, the nose part was lengthened, for better water drainage the rear part of the whole roof was given a slight reverse slope. D-56TS gun with dual plane stabilizer, PAZ system, additional fuel tanks. Serial production from 1958 to 1967. From 1967 all previously produced tanks were fitted with PKT machine guns, R-123 and TPU R-124 radios. The D-56T guns were replaced by the D-56TM. At the time of development of the tactical and technical requirements, the PT-76 tank was intended to be armed with amphibious units of the land forces intended for forcing water obstacles without preparation in the Central European theater in case of war with NATO. The BTR-50 armored personnel carrier MAV and BAV floating vehicles, as well as the K-61 track transporter were created for the same purpose. However, already in the early 50s, the plans for the use of the tank were adjusted, the PT-76 began to be adopted by the reconnaissance units of tank and motorized rifle regiments of the Soviet Army, as well as by the Marine Infantry units of the Navy. During serial production about 12,000 tanks were produced. On the basis of the PT-76 the armored personnel carriers BTR-50P, launchers 2P-2 of the Mars missile system and 2P-16 of the Luna missile system, TZM-2PZ of the Mars system were produced. About 2,000 tanks were exported. They were or are in service in Angola, 12 units, Afghanistan, 60, Benin, 20, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Hungary, Vietnam, Guinea, 18, Guinea-Bissau, 15, GDR, 143 units as of 1992, Egypt, Zambia, 143 units as of 1992, and other countries. Cambodia, China, Congo, 3, Cuba, Egypt, India, 90, Indonesia, 31, Laos, 25, Madagascar, 10, Mozambique, 16, Nicaragua, Poland, 30 units for 1992, North Korea, 300 units for 1992, Zambia, 20, Israel, Egyptian trophies, India, 90, Indonesia, 31, Laos, 25, Laos, 25, Madagascar, 10, Poland, 30 units for 1992, Zambia, 16, Zimbabwe, North Korea, 300, Croatia, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Finland, 15 as of 1992, Yugoslavia, Syria, 100, Slovenia, 10, Uganda, 15 as of 1992. In a number of countries the tanks underwent modernization. For example, in Poland, 
the PT-76 turret was fitted with a DSHKM anti-aircraft machine gun, in China, the Type 63 light floating tank armed with an 85mm gun was developed and put into serial production. The PT-76 received its baptism of fire in 1965 during the Indo-Pakistani conflict in the state of Kashmir. The Indian Army used these vehicles again during the war with Pakistan in 1971. The PT-76S made a long march in East Bengal, now Bangladesh, crossing many water obstacles and moving afloat for long periods of time. As a result, Indian troops were able to flank the Pakistanis and break their resistance. The Pakistanis, in turn, used Chinese Type 63 floating tanks against the Indians. PT-76S have participated in all Arab-Israeli wars since 1967. On the first day of the Doomsday War, in 1973, the 130th Egyptian Mechanized Brigade, equipped with Soviet floating tanks, crossed the Suez Canal and invaded the Sinai Peninsula. The Israelis, however, used the captured PT-76S quite successfully. In particular, on October 16, an Israeli detachment of seven PT-76 tanks accompanied by infantry on eight floating armored personnel carriers BTR-50 swam across the Big Bitter Lake. During the next two days up to 100 medium tanks were transferred to the captured bridgehead by self-propelled ferries and a powerful blow was delivered to the flank and rear of the Egyptian troops. Starting from 1968, PT-76S were used in significant quantities during the Vietnam War. And the Vietnamese used them as the main ones, which almost always resulted in heavy losses. These vehicles did not take part in combat operations in the Soviet Army. Currently, there are almost no PT-76S left in the Russian Army. Some of them are used by the Marine Corps and internal troops of the Ministry of Internal Affairs.